Hey, what's up? My name is Katad Colton, and welcome to my unboxing of the new Switch that just came out today on 428. It is the special edition of uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I've been waiting for this one for a very long time. I know there's going to be probably a few unboxing videos uh, with this, but I've been wanting to do it because I've been waiting since I still have... Was that 2017 when the OG Switch came out? I can't remember. Um, but here... This case is actually from the special uh, limited edition collectors or whatever edition for the uh, Breath of the Wild uh, when that came out. I didn't get the Tears of the Kingdom one. I wanted it for the box, honestly. I didn't care about what was really in it. I feel like it wasn't as strong as what came in Breath of the Wild's version. Um, but I have my my Switch here. <laughs> it's the version one, so the battery's terrible on this thing. Um, I have the Skyward Sword Joy-Cons on it, uh, which I like. I did have to switch them out because the OG Joy-Cons, they got stick drift and whatnot. I never sent mine in to get fixed or anything, so I couldn't bother. Good story on getting this Switch, but I'll, I can talk about that later because I want to get into unboxing this right away. But yeah, um, the box on this is amazing, which is really what I wanted. It has the, kind of like the, the cover art for it, and it's very clean. The only thing maybe I'm, I don't, I'm crazy about is the Joy-Cons. I, I do like the homage to the like old NES cartridges that were gold, but... I wish it was just white on here too, and because um, that's, that's the only green anywhere on this. But uh, the box design, it's oh, I love it. This is also like what's kind of like on the back of the switch. Um, it's very I don't know what you would call that pattern. I'm not really great at art <laughs> in that sense, so I don't know styles and whatnot. But this is uh, the back of the box showing off what's all coming inside of it. Um, if you don't have a Switch, I definitely suggest getting an OLED one for your first one. Um, you can't get the regular, it's just the OLED's so nice. It has a much larger screen, and it's bright, and has beautiful colors. So, I mean, I would just spend like the, a little bit extra on getting that. However, I'm sure the version 2 is still great. However, at this point, I'm sure they'll probably release a little bit stronger one at some point, too, though. I'm not sure what their plan is. I don't know, everyone's been wanting a Switch Pro. Alright, I, I don't want to mess up this box, I'm just making sure... <laughs> it looks like I can just open up this little tab here on the on the back. And then these should come out. Wonderful. I got some instructions for plugging it in and setting it up, which I will do so off camera. Um, uh, it's probably going to go right where my Fallout uh, power suit head is. Which is a coin bank. Um... Now we can have a switch in here too, so I can have one out by my TV and then also one in here. Alright. Should have played some song like the da 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 da. Right. Actually, yeah, I'll, t I'll take the switch out first. I'm interested because I want to do a comparison on the size of the OLED switch and of the uh, regular one. Wow. I need to get a screen protector on this thing really quick, <laughs> so I'm going to make sure I. I do that, but like it's so shiny and clean. So I set up a little scuff too of a cat laying near me, my one of my cats, and I didn't really want to mess with this stuff, and I didn't have a good tripod. I couldn't find the uh, accessories, so I kind of just smushed this in between something close to my desk. So there's that, but then for the back, oh uh, yeah. So if you're just playing on uh, on the side, you might not be able to tell if it's a, a regular switch or not. But if you catch the light just right, or if you're just like staring, if I'm just staring at it myself. Um, yeah, if it really catches that light, it has a just a beautiful pattern on the back, which I like. It's very low-key, and I'm all about that. Sorry, I'm looking at my camera, too, just to make sure I can see it, because I'm not really talking to you, necessarily. Or the camera, or the webcam. I'm also using, like, my phone to, to record this, and it's going through, like, online, because it's obviously I'm on PC software. And uh, I don't have any cables to do that. The Joy-Cons? Um... Yeah, they're pretty tight. I mean, I like the... Oh, the backs also are white too, I forgot about that. And they also have these little symbols on them. Those little eyes. I, I don't know what necessarily they are. There's a lot of uh, symbols on, on here that in Tears of the Kingdom, I'm sure we're gonna find out what it all is, but some of the... It looks very familiar to some of like the latest trailers and like the new characters they were showing off. But yeah, the backs are white, so that, I mean, that's cool. It'll look good with the contrast of the minimalistic 
black design on the back. Front, only thing that sticks out it really is that green, which that does kind of look like what's going on with Link's arm. And then I like what they did with the design with here though, I wish they just stuck with the white honestly. And then I'm home probably would have been looked a little bit better. Also keep the Joy-Cons probably with it just because it's limited edition even though I kind of like the Skyward Sword Joy-Cons a little bit better. Which, curious on the size difference now honestly so I want to check that out. So here it is. I guess I'll take the Joy-Cons off. Make it a little bit easier to see. Uh, they already got one fingerprint on it. Oh well, I'll have to clean that off. <laughs> um, yeah, you can you can really see it on the top and the bottom, especially. Uh, the bezel, I, I like, like especially with monitors. I like it when there's not a large distance between the edge of the screen and um, kind of like the metal on it. Or I guess it's actually plastic. Yeah. Um. So yeah, obviously it's a much larger screen, also the bezel's much smaller. But it looks cool though. The backs. I know I made fingerprints on these, but that's fine. Yeah, that's all worn. <laughs> from just also sweat, also just from my palms just now, so I need to clean that off. But yeah, overall, same size, just the screen size is different pretty much. Put that down. Make sure I don't mess up the box too much. Looks like this is probably just some paperwork in here, which I don't really need to read. But yeah, that's just health and safety information. But I don't really care for that. Make sure I put this in my lap. I don't want to put it on the ground. Make it hard to get out. Then we got our HDMI cable. Doesn't hurt to have another one of those. I'll keep that out for now. Throw the plastic bags away. I just like keeping the box put on my shelf because it looks nice. And this, this is just the power cable, I'm sure, yeah. Which looks the exact same as the other one, doesn't look too different. I'm saying I might just keep that in the box for right now. Get rid of the plastic as I go. Um, oh, okay, so it did just stick with the original, like regular black. I wish they did something with, with that. Um, the, uh, the holder for the Joy-Cons. I don't really use this a lot, um, because I usually play with the Pro Controller. Which I forgot to pre-order the Tears of the Kingdom one, but th it's still cool. I mean, it looks a lot cleaner and nicer than my OG one. The story time about my OG Switch, I got that, uh, during launch week, I'll say, because at the time, uh, on the launch of the Switch, it was very hard to get one. Some was similar to the PS5 situation, but probably not as much, because there wasn't really as many scalpers, I think. I don't or scalpers or whatever. I don't, I don't know what the main issue was. I just know it was a pain. They said it'd be available at a lot of stores, and it just never was um, right away. Like, they ha didn't get it. Um, sorry, I'll continue the story in a second, but I just want to show off. These uh, are the... They go on the Joy-Cons. I can already call them. I don't really want to put them on right now. Um, let me show you side by side. So they'll go in there. I, I like it with the white, and I mean, that, that looks cool. Blends in with the back. But obviously there's a big paint difference because of the gold, they use kind of like this uh, speckled kind of texture to really give it that gold appearance. This gold's kind of a hard color to get. I mean, it is a metal. So when we think of gold, it's more of, I don't say a color per se, but it comes from a, a thing. Um, yeah, I think it looks okay with the white. Honestly, I'd probably be more into black, but it's cool. So we got some of those. Um, yeah, so that my my switch for the OG one, uh, I went. It was during finals week when it came out too, of my undergrad degree, and that was a semester where I had like three, four hundred level classes, and it was it was hard. <laughs> I was not doing so well, but hey, it was okay. I did well in the finals, and hey, I'm done with that. So, I went three days at like five in the morning to stand out line in Target because they said they're supposed to get it and they, they never got it. <laughs> they're like, oh, we're supposed to get them a sock. We don't, don't have them in stock yet, so check back again later. So I'd go every single day for like three days and then they never had it, even though they said they were going to get it. 
and then I would go <laughs> right to school right after that and take my finals at like 7 in the morning, so that was fun. This is the dock. The dock is really cool. That's probably why, I'm going to say why I want it. Um, I was going to get a Pokemon a limited edition one, but I promised myself I'd wait to get a Zelda one. I knew they would do it at some point, and I'll, I'll get the first one that they really, they came out with. I'm glad they did it for Tears of the Kingdom. It would have been cool if they had it for Breath of the Wild, so I would have had it already, but I mean, that was really early on in the Switch life cycle. But it's got, I'm trying to get a, a good uh, shot of it, but there's like, obviously there's the main gold design, but if you look closely, there's a, it looks kind of like a dragon. I, uh, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell from right here, and then I'm looking at the camera, I need to get a closer look at it, but it's got the two different patterns that are on both Switch sides, which are very cool. Um, I, I think this is going to look really <laughs> nice as a display item. I love the the white OLED switch. I was gonna get that one, but I'm glad that they decided to go with the white design for the Zelda one. And then just got the ports on the side for the USB. Two of them? I don't know. If, is there two of them on the other dock? I can't remember. This new dock is also very nice compared to the OG Switch dock I have. I guess it doesn't like scratch as much. It just doesn't feel as cumbersome as the other one. Um, the back plate. Uh, yeah, it just pops right out. Fair enough. Clean, simplistic design. Oh yeah, it's just designed just to pop in and out. It's, it's much different than the other one I have, so that's why I was confused. The other one just kind of pops out. Or up, it's like connected in a different way. But yeah, that's... That's it. Oh, but my OG Switch. I ended up getting it because um, I went every day during finals week um, that I could. And then I had to go home for after school for college because uh, it was during break and I had nothing to do. I had to go work. So... Uh, I went back down south, and so I wasted those three days at Target. So I literally would follow the delivery trucks to GameStop and be like, do you have it today? And then on my second day trying, I got it. So that was a process. This was much easier. Um, they had a ton of copies of this. So if you want a Zelda a Tears of the King OLED Switch, you can probably still get one. Um, I gotta erase that part, because this part's a secret. <laughs> well, I'll go back to it. If you want to get one of these uh, Tears of the Kingdom OLED switches, it's pretty easy to do. Um, I pre-ordered mine like a month in advance, but I know some people who have been able to get them on launch day or pre-order them like a day before. I imagine they're going to be very available. Some of them, you know, you can see pop up like the Animal Crossing one here and there. Um, that came in stores, so I'm not sure. Maybe they just printed a lot more of these. Um, Best Buy system for pre-orders was a lot better now too, though, so I wonder... Um, if that played a part in it for getting it there, but I know it, it was pretty easy to, to get this console. It's much easier than getting like a, the PS5 or anything like that. Um, and also some of the other like limited edition ones, uh, it's just sold out a lot slower. So uh, yeah, so it's a seven inch OLED screen, also 64 gigabytes of system memory, which that's pretty good. I don't know what com came in my uh, original like 2017 Switch doesn't feel like a lot. Um, I forgot to get a memory card, which I won't really need to. I'm mostly just going to be playing Tears of the Kingdom, so um, if you like Zelda in Tears of the Kingdom, follow my channel. I have some Ocarina, or subscribe. I have Ocarina Time content I'm doing with the Ship of Arcanian, which is like a remake, and it's just a fancier version. It looks very nice. It's got camera support. Oh, that's my cat Sheik. I was hoping it'd be like a cat camera at some point. Zeus is sleeping by, but she's checking this out. <laughs> I just don't want to knock my stuff over, but she's good cat. She likes to play with things though. She's probably looking for any twist ties because she wants me to throw them. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, Tears of the Kingdom Special Edition OLED Switch. I'm going to get it set up and I'm probably going to start playing some Breath of the Wild on it because uh, I can't wait for the next Zelda game. So thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe for more gaming and Nintendo related content and I'll see you in the next video. Later.